Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of place value, specifically how we can decompose numbers in a variety of ways, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So let's start with a fairly simple number, 237. That's the standard form. The standard form is just writing the value in each place value. So I have two hundreds. So I'm going to draw in picture form these squares will be my 100 flats. These are my 100s. I have two of these. I'm going to draw three 10 rods. These are these sticks represent 10, so I've got three 10s. And I'm just going to make seven dots. I'm going to make a group of five and a group of two. There's my seven ones. Now, how would I write this in expanded form? Well, what you do in expanded form, it's the sum of the value of each digit. So my two is in my hundred. So these two hundreds right here, that's worth 200. I've got one, two, three, ten, so ten, twenty, thirty. And then I've got seven ones. Expanded notation is similar, but it's not exactly the same. You write the digit and you multiply it by its place value. So this two is in the hundreds place. So two hundreds, and then you're gonna add. I've got a three in the tens place, I've got one, two, three, tens. And then you're going to add a 7 in the 1's place times 1. Sometimes you see it with parentheses. You'll learn in 5th grade you don't necessarily need the parentheses, but I'll put them here anyway. So that's expanded notation. Now how can we write this exact same number using different combination? How can we decompose it into a different uh, strategy or a different representation? What if we only used 100 flat? So I'm going to use this hundred right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this second hundred and I'm going to break it apart. Remember that a hundred flat right here, it equals ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to make them two rows of five. Those are not tally marks. That's why I didn't do the diagonal. So I'm going to break up this second one hundred right here. I'm going to break it up into ten tens. I'm going to have to make them kind of small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I still have these three tens in the tens place. I'm gonna have to add those back in there. One, two, three, and then I've still got my seven ones. So if I wanted to write this in expanded form, what I would have is I would have one hundred. Now how many tens do I have? Altogether, I've got my 10 tens right here, and I've got three tens right here. So that's 13 tens. So if I skip count it by 10, 13 times, that's going to get me 130. Because here's the tens place, and imagine I crammed a 13 into the tens place. It would look exactly like 130. And then I've still got my seven ones. If I wanted to do expanded notation, I would write a one times 100, go and put parentheses, add, how many tens do I have? I've got 13 tens, and then I've got seven ones. So that is the exact same number. What I did is I just decompose it, or I broke it apart, broke the second hundred into 10 tens. Let's say I don't want to do that. I want to keep all my hundreds together. That was a bit too much. So there's my hundred, there's my hundred. But let's say I only have two ten rods. So I'm going to take a ten rod and I'm going to break that up. And as you can tell, a ten is going to equal ten ones. So I'm going to take this third ten rod. Instead of having all three tens, I'm going to only have two tens. My third ten rod, I'm going to break up into ten ones. So this is my third 10 right here is my 10 ones plus I need to bring back these seven ones. So kind of like what we did in this second one right here, you're going to see that it's going to look a little bit different. I've got two hundreds plus 20 plus now I have 17 ones. And if I were to do that with expanded notation, it would be two times 100 plus my three tens, plus now I have 17 one. 